Hey guys, how are you? It's Tara Styles. Hope you're all having an awesome day. I just wanted to share some yoga tips with you on keeping healthy and connected to yourself during the holiday season, especially if you're traveling a lot. So I have experience with this one. I've been traveling quite a bit the last year or so. I'm in LA right now, so back and forth quite a bit for different projects and things. It's all really fun and exciting. I think, you know, traveling for the holidays can also be fun and exciting to see your family and friends and, and whatever else you're doing, maybe vacation that you've been looking forward to. But I know from experience some tips that help out quite a bit. One thing is when you are going to fly, if you're getting ready to fly, um, try to pack as little as you need. So having too many things and when you get there, it's like, oh, I didn't even need that. I've really gotten good at kind of compacting the whole thing. It keeps life a lot simpler. You're never going to need 10 options for a sweater. You're probably just going to need one sweater. You're probably just going to need one pair of jeans, you know, things like that. Like I used to bring two or three pairs of jeans. I only wear one pair of jeans all the time anyway, and then I wash them when they're dirty. <laughs> so your habits when you're at home, what you're wearing, they're not going to change when you're away unless you're going to a different climate. You know, if you're going to, you know, the Caribbean and you live in New York, you know, you might want to just bring flip-flops <laughs> to that, even less stuff. So less is more with that. Also, um, getting ready to go to the airport, um, it helps if you get a good night's sleep as much as you can. I know a lot of the flights I take are early in the morning, so try to go to bed early. Try to have a nice meal the night before, something that's simple and healthy so your body feels good while you fly. Um, you know, go for it. Buy the big, huge bottle of water when you go through security. It's like $6, completely annoying, $5, $6, whatever it is. But um, get it. You'll be happy you have it on the plane and drink that throughout your whole flight. Also, if you can bring... Um, some simple snacks like uh, nuts or, you know, if you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something like that that you like to eat that your body feels good about um, so you don't get stuck starving to death on the airplane and then, you know, your body doesn't feel good when you're really hungry or, you know, eating airplane food, which, you know, is never any, uh, never a good idea <laughs> anyway. So um, those are my, my two airplane tips. Um, one, okay, another one, I'll, I'll make this, I'll make this, uh, a little bit more concise. So the, the other one is when you get to your hotel, if you can do any amount of yoga, just five minutes of yoga is a great thing to do. First thing you do when you drop your bags, everything. So it's helped me a ton. Your body just soaks it up. You know, if you ever have a plant that you haven't watered in a while because you forgot to water it in a while and you just pour the water in and it just soaks it up. And it's like, thank you. You remembered me. That's what your body feels like after you've been flying after you know you've had kind of a, a long cramped day the spine gets cramped your shoulders get cramped your your hips get cramped if you're stressed on top of that if you have you know if wherever you're going is stressful or if you're not able to relax on the airplane things like that it just adds to it more so i'm going to show you a quick routine that you can do here sorry i'm in i'm in the standard hotel you don't have to make your bed when you stay at a hotel so i'm sorry i didn't make my bed but um yeah i never make my bed when i'm at my hotel so <clears throat> first thing you do is shoulders a really a nice area to release. So interlacing your hands behind your back. Take a big breath in here, and then as you exhale, all the way up and over the leg. Take a deep breath here. The heels are a little bit of the shoulder, just drop and be heavy. So after you've had about five breaths there, fingertips come down. Just step your left leg back all the way to a nice low lunge. This feels great in the hips, all the way out the back of the leg. Breathing easy here. Another great thing about yoga is it's not just the physical or the mental, it's everything all at once. So you're reconnecting with yourself. So a few breaths. And then just a simple twist around to the side. If this is too much, you can always keep the fingertips down. And then just bring that foot back up and then do the whole thing on the other side. So for me, I've learned that really simple things are really effective. So keep it simple. Do a few things. Don't skip it. Just get your body going and you'll feel really great and connected back to yourself. So again, it's not just releasing the hips and releasing the shoulders and creating more space in your body, which feels amazing. It's like you're moving into a bigger house every time you do yoga, but you're reconnecting your mind, you're settling your mind, you're connecting back with your creativity, your intuition, all of those great things that make you you. So five minutes of yoga, if that's all the time you have, do it. Okay, I'll see you guys later and have a great day.